Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I know it's been, what, a few days or several days since the last video I put up. Um, and it's because of Mercury Retrograde, I do believe in that. And although it's Mercury Retrograde <laughs> and um, I said I wasn't going to be making big purchases, I actually ended up buying and spending some money on makeup. Uh, yeah, so I know that makes me come across as a hypocrite, <laughs> but I just was so excited and so thrilled to try out these products. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys what I have recently purchased from Sephora. So where do I start? Okay, I purchased, one of the products I purchased and I did receive today is the NARS newest bronzer. This is the Laguna Bronze in the shade 05. So I just got it delivered today. This is how it looks. I didn't do any swatches of this, but I'm gonna show you guys a swatch of this. Um, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. And what I'm liking about this is that it feels very smooth. And even if, as you guys saw me rub my finger in, it, it's smooth, unlike the Anastasia one, which I do have. Let me just show you guys the Anastasia one. Hold on. Now, this is the Anastasia one. This is um, the, their cream, um, her cream bronzer in the deepest shade. No, next one, one level um, lighter than the deepest shade, chestnut. Um, I don't, I mean, this is, the, the shade is not bad, but I don't, I'm not a fan of the formula consistency. I got some of my nail here. So as you can tell, this is definitely a little lighter than this. Um, I could probably use this as a contour, but we'll, um, when I try it out tomorrow, uh, we'll see. I mean, this is nice and it's a nice cream when you put it on, but it's just, I don't like how it turns out in the pan like this. And I just feel this is thicker. This is slightly thicker than the, the new, the newest NARS one. Now I did also order the Charlotte Tilbury one, right? But it's going to be, it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Okay. I ordered, um, the deepest one, number four. I think that's called deep. So I'm also looking forward and trying that out and comparing that to this NARS one. So just so you see, this is the newest NARS. This is the deepest shade, which is 05, which is this one. From the NARS Laguna collection, what I do with the top. And I was just comparing it to the Anastasia one that I have, which is Chestnut, which is this one, okay? So I'm just going to wipe this off. So that's one of the new products I have purchased and was delivered today. Another product I purchased and I'm really curious in trying is from the brand Rose Ink. This is, the, they have a cream highlighter. So I bought this cream highlighter in the shade Lustrous. Lustrous. I did swatch this, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It comes with a little cute mirror there. And that's the highlighter. I got some of that on my hand here. Ugh. And I think that's when that, that's when the Anastasia one, that, 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 it's so messy. I don't like it. I mean, I'm not a fan of it. The color is nice, but I'm just not a fan of the formula. Oh, so that's pretty. It's very nice and creamy. I'm just going to blend it out so you guys could see. I mean, of course, I put way too much, but just so you guys get an, um, an idea as to how it looks. That is very, what is, what is this on my hand? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's really nice. Um, I don't really have any, do I have any cream highlighters? I'm trying to think. Do I? The Pat McGrath is not cream. I know she has, I know that she has a highlighter stick, which I don't have. I don't think I have a cream highlighter. So this is, I have liquid highlighters and powder base highlighters, but I don't have a cream base highlighter. So this is interesting for me. So um, it, it does, it, it feels very smooth when I applied it on my hand and then blended out rather nicely. So I'm definitely looking forward and trying that out. Just wiping my hand. And especially since I do not have cream highlighters in my collection, I'm just looking around here. I don't know. It's liquid and powder. Um, yes, liquid and powder. 
So another product I purchased was another Hourglass eyeliner in the shade um, Solstice. This is from the latest Hourglass um, waterproof gel um, eyeliner collection. So let's just compare this to the Victoria Beckham, um, what I do with it? The Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Highliner in Bronze. Because who knows, one of, someone out there may be like, like, is it similar? Because I thought it was similar, to be honest. So this is the Hourglass Solstice. I actually like this one better than the um, this shade, better than the Victoria Beckham one. Let me just put it on a little bit more for you guys to see. I don't know if you can see it right here. So that's Solstice. Now, let's compare this to the Hourglass. I mean, not Hourglass, the Victoria Beckham uh, Bronze. This is Bronze, the Victoria Beckham Bronze. So this is clearly lighter than this. I mean, this is nice, but I'm really liking this a little bit better. The way I did try it out on my eyes, it's nice. It's really nice. Especially, I did a, a quick sample look earlier where I paired this with the Hourglass um, Deep Brown Shade Cave. And it was nice. It was nice. Maybe I'll do that eye look tomorrow when I use, when I try out this bronzer, this NARS bronzer and the Vose Ink Highlighter. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So, just so you see, guys see again, this is the Victoria Beckham Bronze, and this is the Hourglass Solstice. This is clearly lighter than this, but I'm, I'm liking this better. Um, I just, I'm just gravitating to this shade more, much more than this one. Another product I purchased, and one of my lovely subscribers did ask if I was going to try it out, and I did, is... One of the KVD or the Kat Von D Beauty Tattoo Pencil Liner. I only purchased one because I have like a love-hate relationship with Kat Von, Von D liners, to be honest. Liquid and, you know, liquid and pencil and all that. So this is the purple one, Deluxe Purple. I did try it out just so you guys see a swatch of this. This is, this is a nice purple. So... Now, let me tell you what I do, what I like and don't like about th these pencils from trying this one out. The color is pigmented. It does run smooth. But it's hard to blend. It's hella hard to blend. I am a person, just like this eye look you see on my eyes, like, and I blended it out. Like, this is a Victoria Beckham Navy Noir, right? So that's one thing I prefer in my eyeliner. Since I like to do, like, all over the eye color and then smoke it out a bit, that's just how I like to use my, um, when I have like a nicely pigmented color like that. I just don't like to use it for graphic lines. I like to also use it where I apply it over the entire lid and smoke it out. So, at least with the Victoria Beckham and even the Pat McGrath, you can do that. There's still some room for blendability. With this Kat Von D pencil liner, when I tried this out, as soon as I put it over my lid, it's like it just became so hard and it did not budge. It was so, so difficult to budge with my smudge brush. And that I do not like. So definitely, if you are interested in using this, I recommend only buying it if you want to use it for like graphic art, graphic liner art or something like that. Or if you just want to just put it over the lid and don't smoke it out or blend it out. Or if you just want to put it in your waterline or bottom lid, you know, something like that. But if you like if you're like me where you like to also also use liners where you can at least blend it out then this is not it okay and I'm glad I only bought one it's a pretty color that's a pretty purple it looks nice if you put it all over the lid but I like to smoke it out so just know it's really rough to smoke it out it's like as soon as you put it on there I don't know what it does but it just it sets really really quick it sets quicker than the than the hourglass liner I mean at least the hourglass liner you have some play time to at least smudge it out and 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 everything you know what I'm saying so although it's a pretty color and it's highly pigmented and it does once move on the eyes it just sets too quickly to the point where it does not give you enough play time to smoke it out or um to blend it out to your liking if you're interested in that so that was another product i purchased i also purchased i love armani beauty lipsticks actually i'm wearing one another new one i bought this is shade 209 this is like a brownish reddish color This is different than the other one that I have because the other one, um, it, I thought it was the same, 
but it's not. Um, um, let me put, let me, um, I'll be back. Let me get the other brown one. Now, this is the, the other brown one from the Giorgio Armani Beauty Collection that I typically wear, of, um, which is a nude color. And I thought it was going to look the same, but it's different, just so you guys see. I don't remember the number of this because it faded, but it's different, right? Clearly, this is deeper than this. Deeper than, this is deeper than this. And this is what I'm wearing. So it's a very pretty color. Um, and I, I just love their... Um, silk matte cream lipsticks. Let's go to put a little bit more here. So um, I did saw so that's another one I purchased. I also purchased another. Um, this is more of the Amani Beauty um, matte cream. Um, not cream matte. Is it considered matte? Yeah, it's matte lip power. And this is fuchsia. I love the color fuchsia. And fuchsia looks so pretty, in my opinion, on on um, brown skin tones. Oh, tell me that's not pretty. Ooh, oh, I love that color. I can't wait to wear that. I'm I'm thinking about wearing this color on Sunday because I'm going out on Sunday um, for Memorial Weekend. So Sunday, I'm thinking about wearing this color. Ooh, this I love this. This is pretty. So I know that's going to look nice. So that's a pretty fuchsia color. The number of this is 506 for the Almighty Beauty Collection. And this is how it looks. Very pretty. I also purchased, let me wipe my hands off. I also purchased some other products from the brand Anna um, Sue. Anna Sway. Anna Sway. Is it Anna Sway or Anna Sue? I think it's Anna Sway. Um, it's a Japanese brand. Um, because I do... I haven't used it, but I do have the Black Walmart Water Primer of hers. And I've also recently purchased the Purple Water Powder and the Skin Balm, which is what I'm wearing. Now, let me get closer up. Now, this Skin Balm is supposed to serve as a base, like a makeup base, where it blurs your pores. So it's not exactly a primer, but it's like it blurs your pores. You're not supposed to put it all over your face. You're supposed, you're supposed to put it on areas where pores is more than likely to show. So for me, it's, it's usually my nose and a little bit of the cheeks, but it's more so the nose. So um, I did put on my nose area... And I'll put it on my cheek area here. My, my nose is hella like crazy. So I'm not expecting like a miracle there. But the cheeks, I mean, my cheeks don't have big pores. But I mean, it's nice. I, I feel like I guess it does the job in a little bit. But I need to use it more because I just used it for the first time today, this skin balm. And so you guys, just so you guys see how it looks. It looks like this. And I'll do a quick little swatch. It's clear, basically. It's clear. Um... I'm going to use it a few more times to see if it does any goddamn thing. Because to be honest, like, from what I'm seeing here, I feel like this is doing something similar to my Hourglass um, Vanish Airbrush Primer. <laughs> okay, so, but I'm going to use it up again tomorrow and Sunday. And if I still continue to feel like it's doing the same thing as my Hourglass Vanish uh, Airbrush Primer, I'm going to return it. Because it, for me, I'm, it's not, it's not going to make sense for me to keep two products that does the same job. You know, when I'm already been using this prior to that. Now, this water, this water, what is it called? Now, this water powder is purple. I am actually liking this. So, it comes with this purple sponge here and this purple, purple powder. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now, what this does is upon putting it upon immediate contact to your skin, it gives a cooling effect. That is so true. That is very true. And I especially for me as a heavy sweater <laughs> I love that so I did pat it on and it definitely did give an instant cooling effect and it's also supposed to blur pores so that's another reason now when I think about it I might not even need the skin balm because if this also blurs pores you know what I mean like I don't need two products that do the same thing in terms of blurring pores but this also um, helps control access sebum like sweat and things like that and oil for me I'm just I just sweat a lot so that's why I purchased this I just wish it came with a little bit more product here because the retail value of this is $40 and how much is my Laura Mercier my Laura Mercier is what is it 39 I think a dollar less but I feel like this has more product in it than this what's the size of this this is 
0 0.21 ounces this is one ounce and I, yeah I could just tell I mean I use some of it up but this has way more product than this so that's the only thing like I just wish this had way more product than this but this is something I definitely will keep because I need this throughout the summer especially throughout the day as I retouch my face with um SPF because I have the super goop SPF powder found um powder at least um, I could also use this to cool down my face and especially consider I sweat okay so this is good for those who do sweat a lot or let's say if you have orderly skin especially in the summertime and you just you want to at least blot it during the day it will work in terms of eliminating that shine or like your sweat and um, and I'm telling you it does have an instant cooling effect it does like that's pretty good and it does blur your pores but what I'm thinking about maybe sunday when i go out i'm thinking about using this with the hourglass primer instead of this and see how it how it works and um anything else i bought that i didn't that i forgot to mention i think that's about it like i said the charlotte tilbury bronzer is supposed to be delivered tomorrow definitely looking forward to that and i'm definitely gonna compare that to the nars one and um I think that's it that's pretty much I, I i don't want anything else at this time i know pat mcgrath came out to something with the highlighter so i didn't really care to get that and um natasha denona came up came out with that hydrating primer i don't really need that <laughs> um you know some of these brands are coming out with stuff that i don't need and i don't really care for i mean the bronzers i'm interested in because i love anything with bronzers and highlighters and like i said i don't have any cream highlighters in my collection um Oh, yeah, I know that Mario came out with that, what is it called, Skin Transforming Perfector. One is like a cream gel base, another one's a powder, like a trio powder case thing. Now, I did go to Sephora, right? And because I, I, for me, like when it comes to Mario, once again, similar to um, Kat Von D, I have a hate-love relationship with Mario products. Like, some of them I like, some of them I don't like. Like, I do like the, the Mario um, blush sticks. But when it came to the contour sticks, I was a bit disappointed when it came to the deeper end of that shade range. Of that, the deeper end of that line. So, I went to my, one of my local Sephora stores to try out the, this newest Mario product. So, I swatched the, um, I think it's called Skin Transforming Perfecting Balm or something. So, I thought, because I was curious, guys, if it's going to be similar to the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm, but it's not. And let me tell you how it's not. The Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm has much more, uh, much, it's more pigmented than that Mario one. The Mario one, when I swatch it on my hand, you see a very little hint of color but it's like it gives you more of a glossy look so when I did watch the Mario video on Sephora of him demonstrating how to use it he did put it on the circumference of the model's forehead um the hollow of the cheeks so that gives that dewy look and then when he used the powder form of that new line the perfect and transforming whatever where it's like a trio of it's like a highlighter maybe a, a, a powder and then a deeper powder like when when I saw the video then it's like he went over the same areas where he put that bomb stuff on the model so it gave her like a bronzing effect but it was very very natural and dewy so it's not like the Danessa Myricks if anyone's curious about that it's not like the Danessa Myricks blurring bomb whatsoever it's not like that um but am I interested in it I'm gonna be honest no I'm not <laughs> um I don't really care for a product where um it's like gel like hint, a tint of color like I, I, I don't I don't really you know I don't care for that and um yeah so I'm personally not gonna get it but if you decide to get it you know let me know oh if you already have it let me know your thoughts on it um but I, I'm not interested in getting that um like I said I am interested in trying this NARS bronzer the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer which is expected to arrive tomorrow I'm interested in trying this Vose ink cream highlighter the Hourglass Solstice Eyeliner paired. I'm going to pair that up with the brown one of theirs called Cave. Um, and I'm going to show, and I'm going to, in that video, I'm going to use this water primer with, um, with this. And I think, and because yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. And, um, yeah. So that's about it. So, <laughs> 
I know I, I bulked up my own standards when it comes to Mercury retrograde, but I was just, this was so highly tempting. And I always had my eyes on trying um, those bronzers, to be honest. So, um, yeah, but I'm not going to buy anything else anytime soon. So this is what I recently purchased. If you're watching my video for the first time, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would love for you to be a, par a part of my community. And thank you again for everyone for watching. And have a blessed Friday and a good Memorial Day weekend, although I'll be back tomorrow. All right. Bye.